Hi, it's been quite some time, but welcome to Zenzor Electronics about electronics. Today I would like to introduce you to my latest amp, this beautiful combo, which uh, I think I'm going to call Zenzor Zero or Zero. It's a high quality, completely hand built, hand wired amp built around two main design concepts. One, low power. Two, the usage of uh, NOS tubes. It's low power because uh, it's a class A amplifier powered only by a single 6L6 tube. 6L6 tube is a pretty obscure tube which has low power but it's really available on, the, on eBay for dirty cheap as an NOS tube. This particular amp features a military version of a 6L6. It has an 8 inch speaker and the master volume is really an L pad which dissipates the power of an amplifier after the power tube so you can get down to really bedroom level volume output and still get the crunch from the power tube. The 6L6 power tube, as I mentioned, is available on the NOS market, like the 2 tube, which are 1287. 1287, it's a great tube and way cheaper than an equivalent 12AX7, which is most commonly used in uh, older guitar amplifier. So today I'm gonna take you on a tour of this small combo amp. We're going to take a really brief look at the schematic, then I'm going to disassemble it. We're going to take a look inside how it's built, and then we're going to hear some sounds. So if this sounds interesting at all to you, please stay tuned and see the rest of the video. So we have a 2 12 which make for a four stage of amplification. And then we have one power amp, a 6CL6. So we have the first stage of preamplification, pretty standard, no, nothing uh, really special about it, except we are trying to get as much gain as possible from the 1287, which is a bit of a lower gain compared to a 12AX7. Then we have a combined gain and tone control, so they are both dual controls, so the gain is split between ear and ear, and the tone control is split between ear and ear. The tone control affects the bass response ear between the first and second stage of preamplification, while it affects the treble response ear between the second and first stage of preamplification, together with uh, the second part of the gain pot, which uh, uh, constitutes basically the Princeton tone stack. This is done so that we can have a bit of a tighter sound by cutting some bass frequency uh, earlier and this is especially useful when you're using the amplifier on the quiet side which you can obtain by using an L pad which dissipates the power after the power tube so you can get all the warmness and crunchness from the power tube but at lower volumes the L pad functions only at 8 ohm even though by using the switch on the back of the amp you can select between output of 4 and 16 on 2. For the third stage of preamplification we have a direct coupling in a configuration known as a cathode follower. Then we go to a 6CL6 which is this uh, pretty of, uh, of obscure tube which is cathode bias. I will explain uh, later how to bias it. It's really straightforward. One special thing about the 6L6 is that it needs a lower screen voltage compared to most of our tubes and that's provided by our power trans. Our power transformer is a custom unit uh, which can work uh, all over the world basically because it can go from 100 volts for Japan, 120 volts for US and 230 volts for uh, Europe, Australia and uh, 
many other places we have one fuse amp and on uh, the other side of, of a transformer we have an output of 210 volts and 120 volts doubled so we don't use a bridge rectifier but a normal rectifier which provide the 210 volts gives us around 300 volts which becomes the main B plus of uh, our um, circuit and the 120 volts goes through another solid state rectifier and provides the voltage which is used in the screen of the 6L6. The pilot light is an LED light which work on uh, 120 volts AC and that also get powered by this side of the power transformer and um, for the filaments we have a 6.3 volt output with a center tap to minimize the noise so this is pretty much it for the schematic so let's take this bad boy apart we have a custom cabinet built by the wheel custom in osaka in this case i chose a nox blood tolex here behind we have a standard power socket and the selector for the voltage and the selector for the output 4, 8 or 16 ohms let's take it apart let's remove this back panel to gain access to the tubes you can see the Jensen speaker Here are the two 1287, which are really 6201, which are the military version of the 1287. And here is the power tube, a 6L6. Even in this case, is really a JAN JAN6197, which is the military version of a 6L6 by G in this case. Switchcraft jack. The two transformers are from Kasuga Electronics. Here in Japan, we make excellent transformer. This is the outward transformer. This is the power transformer, which I had to custom order to have the exact voltages I wanted. And here it is. So let's take a closer look to the guts of this uh, Zen Zero amp. It's all hand wired with uh, top notch quality components. Here are the three uh, controls it's volume and tone, which you can see are double pods. And uh, then the master volume, which is really an L pad after the power tube. Everything is kept in place with. Uh, stainless steel screws and nord lock washers which are a bit pricey but as uh, i said i just went for quality over anything else so following the signal we come in from here from the input jack we go to the first preamp stage come out go to the first uh, volume pot and the tone control which cuts a bit the best response go back to the second preamp stage comes out go to the second gain stage and second tone and then goes to the cathode follower of the second preamp tube after that we go straight into 6l6 which is here and which is cathode bias to bias it you just have to take the voltage between the output of this 
rectifier and the anode of the 6L6. While monitoring this voltage, you adjust the cathode bias resistor until you get between 6.1 and 6.3 volts. I'm gonna show the math up on screen. Actually, it's kind of a coincidence, but as the resistance of this coil of the transformer is a value quite similar to our B+, plus, so this voltage happens to match really closely the total watt dissipation of a 6CL6 as the maximum rated is 7.5 watts I tend to bias it conservatively so around 6.3 watts or so and that's about it I just think this is my best job so far to me this represents the best compromise between having a good order something that looks relatively pretty but still don't compromise sound performance to tidiness for tidiness sake so now let's see how it sounds
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to buy this amp or an amp like this or customize to your preference, check out the link in the description down below or just write us an email. I think this is a great amp to use uh, in an apartment. You can go down to really minimal volume levels. It's great to just plug straight in. Of course, it's not cheap. It's all end wire. I put a lot of uh, thought in it, a lot of uh, time designing it, a lot of time building it. But if you're a rock star and you need to travel around the world and you want an old tube amplifier, this is the right thing for you. If you're a lawyer or a doctor and you just want something really pretty to have in the corner next to your custom shop Les Paul, this is perfect for you. So, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time here on uh, Zenzer Electronics YouTube channel. Bye.